All right, let's sing about Jesus. Jesus, you are the one who can hope when the day is done. My hands are lifted to you. Jesus, you are the king. You are the reason why I sing. My heart belongs to you. position you go get in your go fast there you go your go fast position ready as i sit on the seat of the night the floor and the rain and I'm on the beach in the fire it's coming to see you my joy I'll stop and praise the lord here we go That's as fast as I can go. No! You? you can do no. it faster? Yeah. Can you do it faster? Yeah. Mavi, can you do it faster? No. Okay, let's try it with a little bit faster. As I said. singing sing. I can't hear you singing either sing. hey MVCC kids it's great to see you miss Ann here we hope you're staying very healthy and of course be sure and stay safe 
We're excited to bring this series to you so you can get into God's Word as a family at home during the week. We also love seeing your pictures that, of how you're participating in the church at home. Be sure to have your parents send your pictures in and it, uh, send it to heather.winters at mvccramona.org. That is heather.winters at mvccramona.org. Have your folks send your pictures in and then watch the next week on our intro video and you're probably going to see your picture. This week we're going to learn about one of the great kings of the Bible. You'll find that when you study many of the kings in the Bible, they teach us what not to do. But there are also some kings who were obedient to God and taught incredible lessons to us. One such king is Josiah. Let's hear more about his story. Stories of the Bible. Josiah. This is Josiah. Hey Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to, and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Oh. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. King Josiah was obedient to God's calling and he encouraged his people to be obedient to God as well. It's really important for us to be obedient too. We don't always get it right, but we can learn from our mistakes, admit that we were wrong, ask for forgiveness, and God blesses us for that. This week, let's be intentional about admitting when we make a mistake. Ask for forgiveness, don't forget that part, and work extra hard on being obedient from then on. Here is our verse for this week. He replied, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Luke 11, 28. I'm going to say that one more time. He replied, blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Luke eleven twenty eight. We have a super fun family activity for you this week. The whole family gets to participate. 
For this activity, you need a piece of paper and some stickers. Anytime you complete a challenge with a happy and willing heart, you're going to get a sticker. The parents can choose to award more than one sticker if it's a more difficult challenge. Challenges could include things like giving a sibling a hug, your brother or your sister, call a family member and say that you love them, do a silly dance just to be happy, say something nice about another family member, or pick up as many toys as you can in 10 seconds, that's a great race. Help a sibling with a chore. Make a card to send to someone to let them know that you're thinking about them. Get creative. We want to hear about what the challenges are that you came up with and how you got that sticker. Instructions for this activity, parents, are posted on the link below. Until next time, know that we love you and we miss you. Bye, MVCC kids! Jesus, you're my joy, down deep in my soul, you got me coming back for more, Jesus, you're my joy, one more time, sing it loud, here we go, Jesus, you're my Love pursues me. He won't give up even when I lose my will. And I will rejoice and let my heart be filled with praises because my God has done great things. Come on, Jesus, you're my joy. Down deep in my soul. a place where my debt of sin was paid for, where mercy flows and the cross was born for me. I will rejoice when my Jesus came to rescue and conquer death at Calvary. Come on, Jesus, you're my joy. Jesus, you're my 